So recruiters, how excited are you to know how Vasitam really works? Let's see how it works and how can you get on posting a job. If you're new to Vasitam, why don't you just register? Afterwards, you can just log in. Let's say post a job. And once you get in there, you will see that if you're not registered, then you will have a register option. That is if you're a new user or let's say you're revisiting us. So you just need to log in. Let's start typing our email. Once we're registered there, let's go to post a job. And let's just start typing the job title you want to post. Let's say I need somebody who I want as a senior content writer. So let's content writer. Let's say, let me just put my company's name. Let it be XYZ company. And what employment type? I need somebody who can work for me as a full time. And let's say my job location is somewhere in Noida and I need somebody who has an experience of like four years minimum four years and maximum can go up to six years and I don't want somebody who has a very long notice period because I need somebody for an immediate start so let's see two weeks and I need somebody who has a post graduation if you don't want to share your salary with the candidate you can just click on this option now you can put the salary. Let's say you are giving a minimum of 5 lakhs and maximum of 7 lakhs. So that's a variation, okay? Um, okay, so in case you have a walk-in, you can click on the walk-in part and you can put on the dates. For now, I don't want a walk-in. Now let's go to save and proceed. Now you need somebody who needs some skills, right? So what we need, somebody who's with, who's creative, in writing put somebody who has business style of writing and copy editing now let's just type the experience we want from that person let's say four years business writing four copy editing four now just let's save and proceed so now what kind of responsibilities you want should be somebody who can meet the deadlines. Let's say we want somebody who is quick with content, content creation and XYZ. Now let's just save and proceed. So these are some of the requirements you want to screen your candidate with. In this options, you have two options, the ask and the knockout option. When you select the ask option, this question will be put in front of the candidate and if you select the knockout as well so this criteria will auto reject the candidate so let's just select these ones yeah that's fine now let's just publish this job now as you can see i have already posted the job now, after posting the job, here are some of the candidates who have already applied for the job. And out of which, um, I can look at the application status. These two have been shortlisted and this one is yet to screen. So once they are shortlisted, I can also view screening. So basically, these are all that I have asked in the profile. And once I do that, I can also look at the person's profile and can message the person directly. Now what we can also do is afterwards we check the person's profile. We want to interview the person. So from here we can go to the interview option and select. And now this person has been shifted to the interview section. So now that you have already scheduled the person for the interview and the interview is done and now you would like to offer the job so you can just change the status to offer and later on if the person has